hi I'm just out here in the shed and I'm just repairing a locomotive that I've had a lot of trouble with for quite a few years now and it's one of the Backman N-Class moguls. Uh, I bought this probably about 18 or so years ago. It's one of the early ones. Luckily it's not one that has the zinc mazic issue but what it had developed probably about 10 years ago was that the old magic smoke was escaping and uh, it didn't run very well, drew a huge current and just generally stank up the room because there's this white smoke coming out. But I thought it probably needs a new motor but I'll just investigate and I'm in one of those moods today where I thought let's take a look. So I did and you can see here that I've dismantled the locomotive. They're quite easy to do these older Backman ones and there's the motor and it turns out that the problem was oil in the commutator. Back in uh, my uh, earlier days of collecting these things, I was in the same mindset from back when uh, I used to oil Hornby Double O locomotives and it was just lashings of oil to keep those things running. Well, that doesn't sit well with uh, modern models. So what I've done is I've actually used white spirit. I very carefully dribbled some white spirit through the top end of the motor, blew through it to try and get all that out, gave it a little while for that to evaporate, and it seems to have cured the problem with no need to replace the motor, which is a pretty good achievement. So you can see there, there's a little wisp of the magic smoke escaping, um, but that is the very last of the muck and filth is kind of burning off. And as soon as that burns through, there'll be a burst of speed and away it will go. There it goes. And then straight off the track, because without that, it doesn't weigh very much. So it just bounces straight off the track. But that's a success. Another model has been repaired. So if you've got one of these old locomotives and it's having an issue, before you send it away for an expensive rebuild or leave it on a shelf to be ignored because it doesn't work, you've got other locomotives that run better, have a think about cleaning out some accumulation of oil and muck off the commutator. You might be surprised that it's something as simple as that that is preventing these otherwise very reliable locomotives from running properly. But if this video has been helpful to you, don't forget to like this video, share it too, and also subscribe to the channel and you'll be the first to know about new videos as and when they go up. And also don't forget you can follow me on Instagram as Jennifer E. Kirk, and also my books are still available if you uh, want to uh, take yourself a look at uh, what my day job, my fiction writing is all about. And uh, it's always appreciated to have you here watching this. And until next time, you take very good care of yourself. And this is me, Jenny Kirk, saying bye for now. Today's video has been brought to you in part thanks to the generous donation of my fans on Patreon. And a special huge thanks goes out to Anthony Kidson, Mark Anthony, Michael Churchwood, Mark McShane and Bob Threeton. If you'd like to help support the show, head on over to patreon.com slash Jennifer Kirk. Thank you. Today's video has been brought to you by my books, Bringing Home the Stars, Twinkle Little Star, and also you can get the complete comic collections of All Over the House, Books 1, Books 2, and also the wacky zany Life of Knobty Mouse. Thanks and catch you later.